Alright, this is John. And today I'm going to show you how you can add a full uh, Google card in your student board like this one. And you can add uh, the username. So it will show like uh, if I'm a user of this dashboard, uh, it will show my name like uh, good afternoon john uh, like this so i'll show you how you can do it for your dashboard okay let me close this one okay. sorry for the background noise my dog background Room. Okay, so click on this, this three dots, and I have got some lots of some views. So I have added a tabs over here. Okay, some tabs, and here's the tab. I'm going to paste it over here, and then I'll it. So once you create tab, you have to create a new tab like this. You have to click on this icon, and you will show you the option to create a tab. So once you create the tab, so you can see I have uh, using the layout card to <coughs> design the layout uh, for this dashboard. So I'm using the grid template column. So I'm dividing the whole screen into three sections, uh, and each section will cover 33 percent of the screen. So there will be one person extra uh, so it will get divided into three sections in between the three sections and the grid row will be auto so it will go for it will be minutes so there's the three column you can uh, name it according to your needs so i'm naming it as c1 c2 and c3 it means column one and column two column three so You have, to, uh, you have to paste it. I will in your dashboard. I will add this uh, code. This is small code uh, in, in the description, and you can get it from there. So after we add it, uh, you just have to click on save. And now we can. Okay. Let me check it again. So uh, yeah, and uh, theme of the sub view, toggle the sub view so mainly. So right now we can add a card. So I have added a card previously. So let me show you how you can uh, fix the position of the card inside your dashboard. So uh, I can see it's a uh, it's position uh, it's placed in the middle of the dashboard. So uh, what's column one and column two, column three. So uh, I'm using column two. So once you add a card. This is to go to the code editor, and you can see here is the view layout. You have to type these two lines inside your card uh, at the end of your card. So here is the view layout and C2 grid area C2. So key we have uh, uh, separated created the three separate grids grid area. Uh, so we are using the C2 grid over here. Then click. Okay, now we're going to add the welcome card. Okay. Um, So, create the card over here. If you add a card without any, without mentioning the grid area, it will automatically take the first position and first grid area. So, I am going to use a custom card. Uh, so, you can, I am going to use a markdown card for the welcome. So I can 
सेल्सियम पानी ओके चलिए so here i'm using the markdown card and here is the content so font size uh, here is the text font size you can change the font size according to your needs and if now to the add so here is the time i'm mentioning the time then it is so you the good evening uh, based on the time so here is the height and i am using some images you can upload it in your www folder uh, inside your home assistant and you can use that gif or anything you want so I, you can use also transparent png means apng and it will be better to use the gif transparent gif so based on the time and uh, welcome message over here here is the welcome message so it will change the image and if you are using gif for the for this icon it will use the gif <coughs> so here is the gif i'm using the gif and if i need to add the username i can also add the username over here so just click I'll bracket it. Okay, just leave it and we will do the rest of it okay so inside theme you can also mention the theme if you want and here is the card mode so if you want to keep the background transparent of this card or card and you can you can use the transparent so here's the style each card and background will be transparent border is still be not so after you do this and you just have to keep on save and you will see the card over here right now if you want to position the card in center you can also position it because uh, we have added this grid view over this card so i'm going to use it for create and now i can delete it because i don't need it okay so now if i use uh, I mean, from the grid over here, as I just have to remember that you have to uh, paste it at the end of the part. Oh. So, you see, it's over here right now. And if you don't want to use the card like this, you have to use the users over here. So in the username, I don't think so. I think so the username. Card user. Just copy it. Just copy.
so you can see it's also showing you the username and you can also give some space over here and which is like this just give some space over here you can do it from here and how it will go back This is how you can add a welcome message and if you want you can remove the image part from here this gif part and you can use this card for your dashboard to make it better okay see you soon and please don't forget to subscribe and like the video so it will, it will encourage me to get more short video for you so you can design your dashboard Thank you. See you soon.